Hey guys, welcome back to Electro Horde. And today I want to talk about a subject that I mentioned on my first video, which is vinegar syndrome. For everyone that collects vintage electronics, which has an LCD screen, this is a very serious problem that has been affecting most of our electronics today. And well, what is vinegar syndrome? Like I said before on my first video, about this bump top here. Vinegar syndrome is basically the breakdown of the glue used on the polarizer of the screen. For those who have no idea how an LCD screen works, basically you have a glass in the middle, which is the actual LCD screen. On the back you have both a, pal a polarizer and depending on the screen, a reflect reflective layer or not. And on the front, you have another polarizer film, okay? So this is an example of a polarizer film that I have here in my hand. This one does not have glue. Some of them have glue on one side and some doesn't. This one does not have glue. It just have a, a, a very thin protective film here that you can take off, okay? And the problem with vinegar syndrome is that after storing your, your electronics for a long time, the, the glue breaks down and deteriorates and it starts to actually influence how the polarizer works and you start to notice a, a black stain on your screen, okay? This is an example here of a screen that suffering from vinegar syndrome, you can clearly see the, the, the LCD still works, you see the calculator work, works fine, but you can clearly see the problem here on the screen. And the big issue here is that, like I said, you have on a regular LCD screen, at least two polarizers, one on the front on the glass and one on the back with a reflective. This one has a reflective back and replacing them is possible but it's not very easy to do on some screens screens especially because they they usually are very 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 delicate they they usually they usually have a, a very delicate flex cable uh, zebra stripes are easier to to deal with but they usually have like this one they have this one has zebra stripes for the vertical lines, but it has a very, very delicate uh, flat cable, which I believe is graphite deposited or silver deposit for the horizontal lines. And opening up the complete screen, removing both polarizer, which are very, very hard to, to remove. Uh, and sometimes you have to even use solvents to, to remove them, can damage the screen. So you can replace the polarizers, but when you get the screen back together, sometimes it just won't work. And sometimes it's pretty hard to, to get it fixed and, and impossible to get them replaced because the this, this, this screens are no longer available. So this is an example of a polarizer. You can see that depending on the orientation, it lets light through or not, goes darker and lighter. Right, let me turn on, turn on the, the palm top here. Okay, you can see that the screen goes lighter or darker depending on the, on the polarizer. And this is just how this liquid crystal displays work, okay? And these are basically destroying our village electronics. And the only way to try to avoid having these problems is to properly store our, our electronics, okay? And the main thing you have to, to, to go for is basically low temperature and low humidity, okay? And I've come up with a solution to try to, to store my electronics and avoid this problem. And I'll share with you guys this solution uh, in this video, okay? So let's see what, I, what, what have I done. And it, it's been working fine so far. Uh, I've used it for a few years. I don't know how, I don't know if this will be good for many, many years to come, but I hope so. Okay, so here's what I've come up, come up with. 
to try to avoid these problems. I get these airtight containers and this humidity indicators, this digital humidity indicators, and I just glue them in and put all my electronics inside here. You can see that I have a few 200LX palm tops there. Their screen is still perfect, okay? And I use some silica gel. You see these packets down there? Those are desiccants, which means that they absorb humidity. And that's the easiest way I found so far to try to preserve these LCD screens for a long time, okay? Uh, you can see that it's 34% relative humidity inside there. And right now, uh, ambient relative humidity is at 65%. So it's much, much lower. And of course, you can also try to lower temperature. I live in Brazil, so we get very high temperatures around here. You, can al you could also try to lower that by using an air conditioner or just storing your stuff on some place colder. And this, this should also help, okay? And this is the best idea I've come so far. I've come up so far to try to correctly store and try to avoid Villinger syndrome because the most, the, the biggest problem is humidity and temperature. You, all, you always have to try to keep humidity uh, below 50% and above 30, 30% and temperature, you should always try to get it as low as possible, even though sometimes this is very hard, especially when you live in a tropical country like I do. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please comment below, subscribe to the channel. I'll certainly come up with a few more tips for you in the next videos. Thank you very much and see you soon.